What's going on everybody? It's your man Cool Convict here and today we about to get into this tier list. So Marvel Avengers. I've been playing it long enough now that I actually feel like I can give a more unbiased representation of the characters based on what I've played and what I've seen so far. So uh, without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, so what I basically done here is instead of just giving my off the dome representation of the characters based on in a tier list based on more of an opinion, I want to go through five different uh, things that break down my decision for. It. So before everybody get to trying to get at me in the comments telling me I'm wrong and their favorite character should be higher than what it is. I'm basing it on these five things. That way I can give a more fair assessment how these characters perform. Traversal, heroics, melee, ranged, and survivability. Those are the things that are gonna basically determine where I rate these uh, heroes. So first off we got Thor. Thor is the most obvious. Best of the best. And the reason why I say best of the best for Thor is because of the fact that he himself excels in just about every one of these, with the exception of one. So, we talk about Traversal, he's a flying character. So, not much need to be said. Anybody that played the fire, flying characters know they got the easiest traversal in the game. They fly over everything. And they can get the most points quicker than everybody else. Um, his heroics. His heroics is the strongest thing in this game. You build off of his heroics and you pretty much annihilate a room. Say what? It doesn't matter what boss, what enemy gets in front of him. If your heroics is built up, Hulk is melting everybody in the room. It's that simple. Uh, melee, melee. I don't know how you would really rate Thor. Is he a flying melee? Because his melee is pretty strong. He got the little spinning Mjolnir uh, combo that adds status effects pretty fast and he does some some pretty good damage melee wise ranged he has an okay range um it's just slow like you have to throw that hammer out and then call it back and then throw it out and then call it back and it takes a minute the animation takes a minute so you're not really able to just keep the range going like that so range is is iffy survivability if you're building Thor the way most YouTubers have shown you how to build Thor, you sacrifice resolve and resilience. Sacrificing those leave Thor in the glass cannon section and he's pretty much gonna get popped if you're not paying attention. Or if he takes a good blow, he takes a unibeam or a cap shield from Super Adaptor, uh, he's gone. Uh, he's getting popped so he doesn't have a lot of survivability based on those builds not saying you can't build him for survivability but if you did that then you sacrifice his most useful tool and that's his heroics I mean we don't even really need to go into how the tools work because I mean everybody knows Bifrost is strong God bless is strong um, those are the main two moves that everybody uses and they get the job done so Thor best of the best next we got iron man might as well get him out the way too iron man also flying character so traversal is already taken care of with him too flying is already done with him too um heroics his heroics are okay i mean the bubble that he puts out the defense bubble that he puts out uh, allows him to you know negate any damage coming at him but it also boosts his attack He's really good in that aspect. Uh, and then Hulk Buster is Mr. Invulnerability. One of the ways I've seen a lot of people survive with Iron Man, say everybody goes down, he call in Hulk Buster. They can't hurt him while he's in it. So he uses that to get people up, but then it also puts out a lot of damage. So I would say that his heroics are pretty good. Uh, melee, he is not a melee character. I'm gonna say this one more time. Iron Man is not a melee character. I'm so sick of seeing people with these laser bills where they out there trying to use Iron Man down on the ground. He is a flying ranged character. He is not a melee character. His melee sucks. 
you get a lot more done using Iron Man from range. His melee is not that great. Ranged, he is superior here. Only if you build him on the rockets, though. Uh, you build him for his lasers or you build him for his repulsors. Not going to have a good time. Rocket builds are godlike in this game for Iron Man. And that right there should be the only thing that you're doing with Iron Man for the most part. Now, I know some people might find it boring messing with just the rockets and, and they're wanting to switch over to everything else but instead they sticking with the rockets you might get bored you might try some other stuff but if you want to be successful in the two hardest missions in the game which is the olt and the raid rocket build iron man is the idea choice survivability just like thor he gets popped to a lot of people build him for ranged and uh proficiency for those reasons you sacrifice again Resolve and resilience with Iron Man and you're gonna get popped got to keep on the move with Iron Man, but ranged Ranged and heroics is his biggest points, but overall best of the best You can bring Iron Man in and you can definitely expect to get the job done as well on any of those missions All right now we're gonna move on to Kamala Khan Miss Marvel herself she has to go into the gets the job done category because her two kit is trash high five wasting your time the move where she gets big turns into a giant can kill out some trash but against bosses useless she's the only one that's considered the healer in the game but as you play further and further into the game with her it gets a little little shaky so traversal Traversal's okay. Um, her little stretchy arms get her around pretty quick. Um, nothing really there. She's kind of a mixture of Widow and and Hulk in this in this instance. We already got on the heroics. I got heroic first because they so trash. Um, melee. She's a melee character, so obviously her melee is pretty good. But like I said, good for cleaning up trash. Not really good against the the, the boss fights. Uh, ranged. She doesn't have a ranged. She does not have a ranged crystal dynamics. If y'all call that a range move, it is not. Her arm stretches out and she punches stuff. She's basically got a short distance and a long distance melee attack. She does not have any ranged. Uh, so we're not even going to get into that. Uh, survivability. Survivability is hit and miss. It depends on how you build her. Now, if you build her for Valor, just so you can have as much of the that, that healing ability as possible, I probably would say Valor and Resolve, give her a bunch of health. That's probably going to be the, the best thing that you can do with Kamala for survivability. Now, if you're trying to go for her just stomping out enemies with her uh, melee, then you can do a melee build as well. Next, we're going to do the big man in green, Hulk. Sorry to say this goes into okay early on category and the reason why I say this is because I didn't play with plenty of people that claim that Hulk is the best Hulk is the strongest Hulk is this Hulk is that Hulk cannot get the job done in the later fights OLT is pretty much like a ranged battle Hulk ranged is terrible. We're going to get into that in a minute. But then also, his traversal is so unpredictable. Uh, traversal with him is the, the giant jump. Like I said, he's kind of like Kamala Khan's got one of his abilities. And then he's got she's got one of Black Widow's abilities as far as her traversal. His traversal is that stupid jump. And in my opinion, that jump is slow. Um, they should have made it where he jumped further per jump. It's crazy how slow that is, considering that that jump is, is his. Supposed to be, he's supposed to get momentum off that jump, and it, it's it's not really much coming off the jump. Then they added where he can, you know, grab on walls to attach himself to walls. But then when you hit that jump button again to come off that wall, the momentum that he gets off the wall is so unpredictable. You don't know which direction he's about to go in. Honestly, though, the momentum that he got off gets off of jumping off the wall. That should be the momentum that he has with his regular jump. I think they got him backwards. That little slow, kind of very subtle jump that he has when he's mainly moving around should be the momentum he gets jumping off the wall. And then the momentum he gets jumping off the wall currently should be his traversal, should be his main traversal. Heroics. He's got the gamma clap. 
and rage mode and then that third one where he rushes people down slam the ground or slam or, or you know jump on top of the bigger enemies uh that one that one's pretty useless pretty useless uh, but the clap so the clap used to be the strongest thing in the game and then they nerfed him and now the clap uh will take care of everything that's in front of him but everything else around him not not so much since the nerf hulk is not near as strong as he used to be but when it comes to like i said the olt fight it, it's 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 atrocious uh because most of them is like on the ground type type things and when super adapter starts to fly around that that room it's hard for hulk to keep up uh, melee he's a melee character so obviously his melee is is crazy now he's one of the funnest characters when it comes to melee because of the way that you can combo out of like you can grab enemies out of the air and just slang them around and do all crazy stuff he got some of the funniest takedowns he is a fun character to play he's not necessarily the most effective character to play range we're not even going to talk about range range that animation for range is just terrible uh it takes too long for him to pick up rock and when he picks up the big rock that's even slower so uh we're not even going to get into that we know we kind of know where he stands survivability survivability is iffy and the reason why is because you can build him for a lot of health but in order for him to actually stay afloat he relies too much on his intrinsic to keep him alive and for that reason you can't go off of that uh that aspect for him to survive it's 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 a big learning curve to learn how to play him and keep him in it but now when we're talking about him in later stages like i said olt is a range fight he has terrible range uh the raid i'm just gonna put it like this every time i ran him in the raid he getting killed constantly you suck he's not staying alive he's not af affecting anything worth it you know worth talking about and i'm talking about fully maxed out hulks and they still get knocked out good early on maybe some olt do not take him in the raid all right next up now we get into the more interesting characters uh let's start off with hawkeye so hawkeye for me best of the best hawkeye is like crazy crazy strong a lot stronger than most people give him credit for easily the strongest uh range character in the game and his toolkit is pretty much you know balanced um so traversal traversal him kate bishop black panther i'm gonna get to black panther probably next but they got the slowest traversals in the game now granted he does get the little tight rope where he can uh you know zip up the things pretty quick but his running just straight running is terrible terrible traversal is not that great for him uh heroics his heroics like i said are pretty balanced uh when he puts that the little healing uh radius on the ground as long as you're standing in and everybody gets healed uh there's an added perk to it if you build it correctly where he also boosts uh, attack damage so he's doing what kamala can do but he's also giving you an extra uh perk as well uh melee melee uh don't do don't do melee you can it's not it's not the point of hawkeye though don't do melee uh, he's another one I say just stick to ranged so the range for him is super strong and then the fact that if you got good proficiency for crit damage Hawkeye can clear trash mobs in in seconds like he can clear them in seconds and he can also like status affect everything pretty quick and if you pay attention to your surroundings it's almost almost impossible to get hit with hawkeye so we're gonna go right into survivability you don't have to build hawkeye with a lot of health uh you don't have to build hawkeye with a lot of defense because if you're sitting back shooting a lot of the time that most of the trash mobs are not coming getting to you anyway and by the time that any of the bosses make it to you you got other people on your team already taking care of that situation so survivability is real high with hawkeye and his learning curve is not that hard for you to know hey build for proficiency and precision and you got you got a good uh good build there next up we're gonna do kate bishop since the, she's the other archer i'm gonna put her in very good stats so she's got a lot of the same things that hawkeye got 
the one thing that I hate about the way that they do it, her toolkit though, her heroic is useless. You got a ranged character, and mind you, this is my third favorite person to play with in this game. Her toolkit is trash. Her her ultimate heroic, useless. It favors melee, which she is not a melee character. When you're using the, the range while her special is out, the one where she shoots the endless like needle style arrows, not very effective. Um, I think those things are actually supposed to explode once they stick in them. You don't really see it do it that often. It's just more so you just shooting a bunch of needles into the enemies that's not really doing much damage. Her, her decoy works some of the time. Now the decoy that I got uh, also boosts armor, so that's a plus. That's what they gave her where Hawkeye heals you, she buffs your defense. The decoy itself does its job, but the enemies being affected by the decoy is hit or miss. You can have a decoy out right in front of an enemy and they will walk right past that decoy and still come out to you as if the decoy is not out. So it's not even, it's not that effective. Um, and then her, uh, her warp arrow, so I went for the build that allowed that warp arrow, instead of her to warp through it, it puts that singularity uh, arrow on the ground that pulls everything in. Now, if you combo that with with uh, Thor's the God Blast, you wipe a room. Thing is, you ain't gotta worry about running around. If you got a bunch of enemies, like in a certain radius of that singularity arrow, it pulls everything to the middle. And then all you got, all everybody else gotta do is they most hard hitting, moves that they got that can wipe out a lot of enemies at one time use that while they're all in the center and we wiping them out melee for her don't do it don't do it don't do it um traversal so she's like i love to make the comparison that she's nightcrawler because she's got the teleport uh based on story elements of the game she has a uh, teleport she runs super slow, but the teleport makes up for it because you can dash forward. You can dash up her quick move to get up on platforms. All that stuff is pretty effective. So traversal for me is about a B, B plus ranged. So she's a ranged character with one stipulation. Her switching between the arrows is, so let's get into this. Grenade don't really work, it's too slow too slow to draw them out her razor shot is good especially if you want to get rid of some trash or you want to you know take an enemy out of the fight for a little bit she has the ability to pin them to walls with the razor shot scatter shot is probably her best um, ability that she's got now the difference between her and hawkeye is his uh ranged combo shoots out scatter arrows so he's hitting a lot more with just the regular attack her scatter arrow is shot like a regular you know uh, aim and shoot mechanic so it's not nearly as effective as Hawkeye's um, so that's why she goes into very good so she's pretty much a, uh, like Hawkeye uh, but the difference is everything that she's got Hawkeye's got it too but better with it so that's the reason why she can't go in the best of the best but still still love playing with the character all right Black Panther Black Panther Black Panther is I almost want to put him in best of the best I almost want to put him in best of the best. Yeah, let's put him in best of the best. The reason why I'm going to say that is because Iron Man, Iron Man, Black Panther actually can uh, stay alive for a while. And then he has this, I don't know why they built this mechanic in. I know they were trying to make him as close to the way we know him to be as possible. But he literally has a cheat code of a move in the game. Um, and that's when you activate his, intr his intrinsic for his block and he starts to glow you literally against the trash mobs can just stand there take damage and you're not taking damage but they're building up your intrinsic meter for you just standing there taking hits and then his uh so his toolkit to me works out really really well so i had people you know in the beginning that was like oh his his heroic is useless well his heroic is useless if you're not building for valor melee and valor is how you should be building him and I've actually built for that. And when you hit that panther, that giant panther runs through a, a, like a tunnel hallway or any enemies that's in front, it'll pretty much kill everything that it touches. I mean, then he has the added perk where you can you can bring out the other little Wakanda soldiers to help out, which that move works when you're playing solo. When you're playing with uh, 
a good team, I would probably switch out the soldiers for his ability to get himself up when he's down. So he has that ability too. Okay, so let's talk about traversal. Why they do my man Black Panther like that? So I know this game is trying to be, I guess, as accurate to the character as possible. But then most of the people playing this game is gonna base a lot of what they see on the MCU. In the MCU, Civil War to be exact, we watched a scene, Black Panther, Bucky, Captain America running down the street. And they were running faster than the cars that were driving on the street. And then they put Black Panther in this game. He's like one of the slowest running characters in the game. Come on, Crystal Dynamics. Why y'all do my man like that? Y'all know damn well he should at least be the same speed as Captain America. He is one of the slowest characters in the game. They gave him the same kind of mechanic with Hulk where he latches on to the walls. Now, good thing about his latch on, though, is you know where you're going to go when you hit the button again and, and jump off the wall. So he does have that. And then you can also, you know, if you're pretty good at comboing, you can actually use that wall to your advantage, you know, hooking to the walls and doing the moves that come off the wall. So I love that. But yeah, his traversal, come on, dog. Come on. Y'all got to speed up that man's running. Uh, his heroics, like I said, all work pretty good. I love I love everything that he's got there. Kamoyo beads, you got two versions of them. You got the lethal kind and you got the healing kind. Healing kind is good for keeping him alive, but it also keeps other heroes alive. But if you run it with the perk where he's shocking people, then he also can hurt with those as well. So uh, all around toolkit on heroics is pretty good. Melee, he's a melee character up close and personal and probably the fastest melee character in the game and he will whip your ass if you uh if you get it going he can whip some ass ranged i'm okay with them giving him the little ninja stars or whatever this is useless to even try to build range for for him it's better to build off of melee because of most of his moves require him to be up close and personal in your face range is not really needed like that for him they just gave him something to give him something survivability hands down one of the best in the game i already talked about how you could just sit there and let trash just hit you and take no damage so overall he's the best of the best i'm gonna go ahead and get him out of the way because a lot of people know that i am a fan captain america he is my favorite hero my favorite hero of all time so we're gonna go ahead and get him out of the way he is not best of the best he's very good <laughs> Even though he's my favorite character in the game, he still lacks uh, in some areas. Um, we're going to break it down. So, traversal for him is about a B- minus to a C+. Plus, uh, because he can move really, really fast across the map at the expense that you spend his intrinsic meter to do it. So... If you don't use intrinsic, he, he it takes him forever. It takes he's probably one of the slower people to get because even though Hawkeye and Kate Bishop run slower than he does, uh, they have the added perks that allow them to still get across the map faster than him. But uh, he can get around pretty fast with the with the shield charge. So traversal is hit and miss. Uh, heroics. Now I've played with all the characters, and this is not me being biased but he easily got the best heroics in the game next to Thor um, because they all fit his him perfectly. I mean, you got, you know, the Brooklyn Brawler, which is his strongest move, and that move, you can just go to town. Uh, that is a, that would be the only time that I would consider this game a button mashing fest is because when you take out Brooklyn Brawler, you just spam the melee button. He throwing the shield and doing all kind of crazy stuff, and you just watching him just knock enemies down one after the other with that with that Brooklyn Brawler build. And uh, that's even not necessarily building for Brooklyn Brawler, because I didn't build him for Brooklyn Brawler, but yet his Brooklyn Brawler is still out of this world. The shield throw, the shield throw uh, heroic also, very good. 
and then they add the added perk where you can kick it back out and it, i mean it just ping pongs all over the place and the good thing about it is it hits hard it almost guarantees critical hit uh critical damage per hit and then when he kicks it back out it goes out and finds more enemies so it's a tracking mechanism as well and then uh he has the rally cry which boosts his defense also taunts the enemies to get so if you got somebody that's in trouble you can you can hit that and pull all the enemies to you so his his utility as far as the heroics is concerned is top notch easily the best in the game next to thor melee so captain america is he's a bit of a hybrid um when it comes to this because really good melee really good combos really good melee but going right into ranged his shield throw is a whole lot better shield throw is a whole lot better so um i would definitely say that his shield throw is going to be going to be where i'm at with it his range build is where i go with that so cap is 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 melee and range survivability i just said he gets he, he he's probably my best surviving character I, I so i ran a mission where i did a harm room on the hardest mode fighting uh claws enemies and i did it with black panther and i did it with captain america to see uh which one survives the best uh, captain america survives a lot longer than black panther but um his overall kit doesn't necessarily um benefit on the if you build for survivability then you give up melee and range if you build for melee and range then you give up survivability there's no balanced way to build cap to be able to do both that's the only reason i put black panther at best of the best and cap it very good is you can build black panther to to cover all those areas where cap you have to focus one area or the other and sacrifice somewhere else so overall captain america very good moving on black widow black widow gets the job done i love to play with black widow she's fun to play with very fun to play with very good at proccing status effects and she's she has a status effect already built into her regular tool kit just like thor with the with the electricity so the shock uh she gets the shock automatically um but she's very squishy so let's get this traversal traversal she's pretty much like spider-man but she can't infinite swing so traversal if you play spider-man you know how she works uh heroics she's got some really good utility in two areas invisibility works like a charm you add on that extra effect where she damages when she goes in invincibility you can pretty much melt a lot of trash mobs around her with that ability um then her widow's bite stick that into any enemy and let it do damage and it's a win-win for you so uh heroics is is great now her ultimate ability ah, you don't really need it i play most of the time and i forget that i even had that move to use i'm so busy using uh her other abilities and her regular uh fighting kit i always forget that she can you know put that staff together and and, and kill some stuff so in my opinion she needs a, a better ultimate ability um, but the one that she has, uh, I guess it works. It works for what it what it does. Melee, you can build her melee. Wouldn't recommend it um, because of the fact that her melee doesn't scale well enough for her to be a full on melee character. But she's got some of the best combos in the game that I've seen. Uh, next to Black Panther, uh, range. You always you sh you know this. You know you're gonna build for range with her. I mean, she uses guns um, and heavy caliber hits like iron man's rockets if you build her right so range we already know she's a good range character uh, survivability there is the question so invisibility allows you to not take as much damage because they can't see you but if they do see you you're knocked out because the way you have to build her there is no way for you there is no way almost like cap there's no way you can build her for survivability and have all that hitting power too so you're going to sacrifice something and most people are going to sacrifice the survivability in order to get the ranged uh the range and proficiency so she's squishy she's gonna get popped i would say that yeah she's she gets the job done but so many characters can 
can do it better. Um, like I said, Iron Man's rockets and her heavy caliber is about the same. I would rather go with Iron Man over Widow if I like the flying characters. I don't like the flying characters. So I went with Widow instead. But she's pretty much she's pretty much a weaker version of Iron Man. Last but not least, now this is only for the PlayStation people. This is why I left him for last. Spider-Man. I'm going to have to go ahead and put Spider-Man in gets the job done so believe it or not we didn't get anything and not reliable yet believe it or not but spider-man gets the job done spider-man has one good thing working for him and we're going to get into that right after i talk about his traversal public service announcement traversal in this game with spider-man is spider-man I don't know where people talk about, oh, he's no good uh, with the traversal. The swing is dumb. The swing is dumb for the fact that they got his butt tethering to an invisible ceiling in the sky when you're in those really open, open areas when they could have easily just let him shoot at whatever's around to get swinging going. And then just like in his game, if you're in an area where you can't hook on to anything, then you can't swing. That's what they should have did. So traversal is, is dumb the way that they did it. But it's still effective, and Spider-Man still gets around faster than any of the other grounded characters. Heroics. I think his heroics are really useful because he is a crowd control type of player, and he pretty much immobilizes everybody that's there. Um, that's, where he, that's where he excels at is because you get anything webbed up, they just standing there waiting to be hit. I think his web ball is good. I think his uh, web uh, bomb is good. And I think uh, I think the drone serves its purpose. If you build it with the uh, defensive stance. I don't really think the healing is consistent enough. So I always build him with defensive stance uh, instead. Uh, melee. He's a melee character. Built him primarily for melee. He's probably one of the only other characters in the game that melee works properly. Ranged. I've heard a lot of people say they built uh, Spider-Man for range with the uh, with the webbing. I don't really think that he's a, a range character. I think he's a melee character. I think he's he got he got decent range for pinning down enemies, but it's not really killing anybody. Survivability. So survivability wise, um, he does a pretty good job there too, uh, staying alive. Uh, so I would probably say that he's a pretty balanced individual. So now that you got my opinion on it, um, we're going to break this down to as simple as this. Uh, I didn't do it biased. I gave every single one of them uh, five attributes, and we talked about those attributes, and that is where I placed them. So if you got any other objections or any suggestions on why they should be in the place that I placed them, comment down below. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you're new and you want to see more content from me. And on that note, Keep it cool. I'm out.